So widgets are a huge part of online business. Today there's more distributed media going out uh, than ever before. And you look at sites like YouTube and even more traditional media sites and they're trying to really distribute their content and go out and reach the masses. So the way that Slide fits into that is we're actually the largest widget maker and third party software application provider that exists. We reach about 170 million unique users a month, which makes us the seventh largest internet audience in the world. Um, so for us as a business, it's really important for us to take the content, distribute it out to our users, and it enables us to start to inject advertising, sponsored content, and other opportunities like virtual direct-to-consumer goods with those users that we reach. Well, we started out really focusing on photo and a little bit on video. Our marquee product was slideshows. Um, that started out in 2005, predominantly on MySpace. And then that kind of bled over into Facebook, into High Five, into Bebo, into Orkut, and the other major social networks. Uh, with the opening up of Facebook's platform about a year ago, last May, it really enabled us to take a deeper look into our user experience, to understand who the users were that were using this application. So now with the APIs that Facebook gives us and the other platforms like High Five and MySpace that have now launched and Bebo, we're able to understand who the user is, how they're using the product, and expose them to new content. Specifically in video, this is really important. Uh, we own Funwall, which is the number one active application on Facebook. We reach about three million users a day, and we send over four million video streams across the product on a daily basis. We're able to take collaborative filters and understand what users are engaging with, what content they're sending to their friends, what they're favoriting, what they're sharing, what they're watching, what they're clicking, what they're playing, and able to recommend to them new content discover, which puts us in a really unique position with content providers. Okay, tell us where those, are those videos selected by the users or what are, and what sources do they come through? So today, it's a pretty nascent source. We have a recently popular section and what this does is it looks at recency and it looks at how quickly videos are being forwarded around. It's like a viral forecaster. So you can tell that just within the Funwell ecosystem, here's a video that's popular to disseminate to your friends. Here's something that other users within this ecosystem are really enjoying. The future of that is to build out categories, multiple content partners, to really bring in content from all across the internet and expose it to users in a meaningful way where it's easy to share with your friends and let them know what you feel is important. What about publishers or media companies that want to you know, use Slide to, to get their video out there? I mean, is it strictly selected by people within the network or is there a kind of a platform uh, opportunity, if you will, for content creators? It's something we've been paying a lot more attention to. We've recently been approached by a number of movie studios and they're a pretty good example. They want to get their trailers distributed. And so we said, well, how can we expose these trailers to our users? So we are starting to inject content into the discovery UI and able to push that content out. Most recently, we did um, a trailer for a major movie studio that got over 100,000 views in its first week. So when we're able to produce numbers along those lines and get users to say, this trailer is something cool for me, something I like, they then share that with their friends and the advertiser benefits from the viral effect. We're looking at doing that in more of, uh, more of a distributed model where we work with a number of content providers and we take their content and inject it, let users tell us what they want and then customize the content that we offer to them based on their recommendations. Cool, all right, so tell me about Juno and the pregnancy test. <laughs> what, what is that about? I heard that was huge. Sure, so Juno came to us and they said, we're going to DVD, we'd love to do a sponsored Super Poke. Super Poke has about 600,000 daily active users and we see somewhere in the neighborhood of five to six million pokes sent a day. So it's a hugely viral, high engagement activity where users can send out an action to their friends and say, this is something important to me. This is something that I think is cool. So Juno came to us and they said, you know, we have these really interesting references like pour a blue, blue Slurpee on your friend or throw a pregnancy test at. And users will understand that these map well to the movie. We worked with them to design custom icons and custom creative. And then we allowed that to go out into our system and users opted in to choose that to send to their friends. In a single day, the first day of the campaign, they th sent 370,000 pregnancy tests to their friends. And over the course of the campaign, over 2 million.